What's going on everyone, I'm Ted from Kevin Talks to you back again with another Preferred 11. Today is Preferred 11 for Saturday's match away at Hamilton. Uh, if you're wondering what this kind of new layout is, my brother basically got a Lenny up tripod for college. I thought I'd kind of try it out. Um, I know the, this is my first other time kind of using one of these, so this is kind of amateur stuff, but I'm sure we can uh, get on with it. It just saves me kind of, sh saves the camera shaking and that whilst I'm kind of uh, trying to show the team and that, so um, aye. So let's just get into it and see who's got to be my preferred one for Saturday. Right, so starting off with the goalkeeper uh, defence and formation. Formation's got to be 4 4 2, which has been our uh, probably our most used formation this year. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of worked for us, I guess. Um, and next, Freddie Woodman can't really change that. I um, know that old key has been playing uh, really well recently, especially the Rangers game at home. Uh, Luke Hendrick right back, probably one of the best performance this season. Along with Chrissy Eye at the back, pretty solid. Um, it's getting to the stage of the season where these preferred lovings and I don't really have much to say about the players. Um, so I just kind of, you know, just trying to go through it, I guess. Scott Boyd uh, signed him obviously permanently in January. Uh, good to have him for next season. Um, and I, I, along with Ayer, uh, he's been a really uh, solid player for us. Um, his last few weeks he's been kind of out of injury and stuff, um, but hopefully he'll be fit to go for uh, the game Saturday. Greg Taylor, my nominee for Young Player of the Year. Um, at the end of this season, um, I'll do a kind of award uh, video, so um, he'll probably be involved in that. I'll probably do like uh, goal of the season, uh, player of the season, uh, Young Player of the Year. Um, favourite moment of the year, things like that. Um, so, aye, that'll probably be at the end of the season. Um, so look out uh, for that. Um, but aye, one of the preferred eleven into the midfield and two up top. So I only meant the midfielders, but uh, anyway, into the midfield four. Got McKelty out in the right. Hopefully he's back fully fit for this game. Um, if he's not, I, I would at least hope him to get you know kind of 70, 75 minutes like he did against Rangers. Ronan McKenzie, uh, I'm not too sure about his injuries like, but personally I'd like to see him in there all so long as that because I think he's got a better work rate. And in a, midf in a midfield four, uh, the two in midfield obviously have got to have a good work rate. I think Ronan McKenzie's got one of the best work rates in the team. A lot of folks like him, a lot of folks don't think he's that great, but I think he's got one of the best work rates in the team, so that's why I like to see him in there. Guy Dicker, oh Jesus, Guy Dicker, uh, my pick for player of the year, uh, keeps his place in midfield and Jordan Jones at the left. Um didn't have the great didn't have a great game against uh Hearts, scored against Celtic uh, and had a really good performance against Rangers so hopefully we can take that um form into the game on Saturday uh, and hopefully we can get three points. Into the two up front. So two up front are Chris Boyd, Connor Salmon. Uh, Connor Salmon also got to be back in uh, contention for this game uh, following his uh, game that he missed against Hearts. Obviously he can't play against Hearts because that's his club, uh, his, per his parent club. He uh, was on loan for Hearts so he couldn't play against them uh, a fortnight ago at Rugby Park. Um, but hopefully uh, he can get back in and start loving which I expect he will do. Chris Boyd uh, obviously had a, a few decent chances against Hearts. He had the header right at the end, he had the free kick that went wide to the post. Um, and I and I know he could have had one or two goals, um, but he's always going to score goals. So you need him in that starting eleven. Um, but the thing I've noticed about Salmon is he doesn't really play up front. He kind of plays in like a left wing role. So we always have kind of like three folk in the left, which is kind of weird. I mean, only have one up front. Um, I, d I don't really know why that is, but um, aye. So Boyd, uh, Sam up front. That's my team for Saturday. Uh, get it in the full picture there. Uh, that's my team for Saturday. Uh, comment your team down below, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new because well, as I said uh, in the past few videos we're now at 300 subscribers which is uh, pretty decent, um, hopefully we can hit that by the end of the season, um, bye, that's the end of the video, if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, cheerio. Cool.